patellar dislocations. The patella is a protective bone located in front of the knee joint. It is attached to the quadriceps muscle through the quadriceps tendon. It facilitates the function of the quadriceps muscle to straighten the knee. It lies within the patellofemoral groove. This groove allows the patella to slide vertically with normal movement of the knee joint. Dislocation of the patella occurs from the patella sliding laterally out of its position on the knee. It may occur from a blow to the knee, acute trauma, or severe twisting of the knee. In the majority of cases, dislocation is associated with pain, a swelling, and a lump on the lateral side or the outer side of the knee. The patella will usually relocate by itself back into the normal position in the groove as the patient is straightened the knee. The x-ray will show lateral dislocation of the patella as seen in an AP view and sunrise view. The x-ray should also be carefully evaluated for the presence of osteochondral fragment displaced within the knee joint because this is a surgical indication. Mechanism. The medial patellofemoral ligament fails. The patella will move laterally and causes a direct impact injury to the lateral femoral condyle and the medial facet of the patella will be also injured. Causes of patellar dislocations. Weak VMO muscle. The vastus medialis oblicus muscle is weak. Large Q angle. Excessive foot pronation. Patella alta means high riding patella. Geno valgum or anacne. Treatment. The first episode is usually treated non operatively unless there is a loose fragment in the joint. We use an immobilizer to allow the medial structures and ligaments to heal. Sometimes we use a hinged brace. The quadriceps strengthening exercises is probably one of the best treatment for patellar dislocation. 50% of the patient treated conservatively will have recurring episodes of instability and some of them will require surgery. Chondroplasia of the patella is another complication of patellar dislocation. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.